Fast and Fury, first things first, how on earth are your ribs? We've all seen the video. Yeah. I know you wanted one broken. Is it broken? I think so, yeah. I've actually, um, I think it's fractured one of the ribs, but you can't do anything for a broken rib, so yeah. it's just painful, that's all. Presumably you're not going to do that to Tommy. Yeah, I think we've already done it to Tommy. Um, and Tommy's actually got a couple of broken ribs down one side. So, yeah, put him out of action for a minute or two. Okay, well, let's, let's hope that's false. Um, <coughs> so, we are here today because December 18th, your brother, yep. Tommy Fury, is taking on Jake Paul. Jake Paul's for <coughs> UFC guys. He's for NBA guys, and yep. now he's fighting a boxer. Has he bitten off more than he can chew? Um, most definitely. Um, I'm expecting Tommy to give Jake Paul a good beating and enjoy yourself on putting on a good show, and that's what it's about, enjoying yourself, putting on a good show, and um, I'm taking it all in, you know, that's what we're there to do, enjoy, 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 enjoy. A lot of people are saying that this is the toughest fight of Tommy Fury's career. What Don't do you think? Daft. How could it be the toughest fight of his career? He sparred better, man, as an 11-year-old. How do you think his opponents so far, the likes of Jordan Grant, you know, some of the, the polls that have been brought in, how do you think they would do against Jake Paul? Um, probably most of them beat them. All those pro fighters out there who think that Jake Paul can beat Tommy, what I got to say is go suck a dick. How about that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what do we think about the uh, the pressure? I mean, you've said it. You've you've said that he shouldn't have the surname Fury if he loses this. John's threatened to disown him. There's no pressure him. on him. There's no pressure. Go in there, hit this fellow a couple of punches, and bust him. That's it. I don't see pressure in having a fight. It's not a pressurized thing. Now, if I was had to read a load of script massive script reading it and copy exactly now i'd be pressured with that so tommy's boxed all his life there's nothing new to him go in there and have a fight one of the things john said when he come back from the anthony taylor fight that he he wasn't happy with not being around it and he thought tommy sort of didn't do too well under the pressure now you're going to be out there are you kind of john's plan has he sent you out there to make sure tommy does what he should do no tommy could have his worst night ever and still beat jake paul he could probably turn up with broken ribs, a broken left hand, two left feet, his, his clothes on back to front, and with the flu, and then still beat Jake Paul. That's how confident that I am he can beat Jake Paul. Do you think if Tommy had splattered Anthony Taylor, he'd still get this fight? No. Tommy looked terrible on purpose, so he could get this fight. And that's what you clever people do. Wouldn't be the first time that's happened in boxing history. I've seen it happen quite a lot of times, actually. Just a quick one on you, and I'm not going to ask, oh, do you want to fight White or Joyce? Who would win out of Dillian White and Joe Joyce? Um, I'm not sure it would be a good fight. I'd like to see that fight, actually. Maybe they should fight each other. Final eliminator? For whatever they're going to do. I'm not sure, but listen, I'm only interested in fighting Usek or Joshua. We'll see. We'll see. There was a lot of pressure on Wilder to step aside when he was kind of in the way of this undisputed fight. Now Joshua's in the way of it. <coughs> there doesn't seem to be as much pressure. Do you want him to just step aside, get himself out of the way? I would, I'd prefer him to let me fight him because if Joshua goes in there again and loses, which I think he will, then that fight's dead in the water for me. You don't lose two fights and then go into a massive heavyweight title fight. But if he lets me fight Usyk and I batter Usyk, then I come back and fight Joshua batter him as well, then I can just fuck off then. They can all fight for the belts. I'll retire. Well, look, we, we want to see you out soon. I'm sure, you know, you said end of February, March, and we hope to see that yeah. very soon. But back to Tommy quickly. What's going to happen then? December 18th, BT Sport box office. Give us your prediction. I think Tommy Fury lays Jake Paul out cold. Stretcher job and oxygen and all that. Like a proper... Big dirty knockout, as Tommy calls it. I, I don't mean just like a wow, he's gone down. I mean like proper unconscious knockout. Like where they put all the oxygen on him to bring him back round and all that. Because there's one thing playing around at boxing, but when you're messing with dynamite KO King like him, wow, you're in for some serious trouble. And if you're not used to being hit, he could seriously get damaged. Tarson, thanks very much. Cheers.